Hey guys, Biscuit with another new video. So today is gonna be the tutorial on how to put your Scratch games on Android for Game Jolt. So first things you want to do is very similar to the um, how to put your Scratch games on Game Jolt. You first want to go into the whatever project you want to do. Hit click C inside, and then you want to click File. Then you want to click Save to your computer. After that, after this is done, it will download the file to your computer, and then you want to go to this next site called Melo Sheep Tester. Now this site allows you to convert it to HTML, which allows you to convert it to an APK. APK files are Android files. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to click Upload Project File, toggle this, and you want to select the project file that you're doing. Then you want to title it. Whenever you want, for example, I'm just going to say Game Jolt Tutorial for mine, because that's what it is. Uh, username value, you probably just want to leave blank unless you think there's with usernames. For um, favicon, that's going to be the tab icon for your game, so probably put the icon of your game in that. Background image doesn't matter, turbo mode makes it run double as fast. Show loading progress bar, you can make it like look a little bit different on the loading screen. Loading image, you can have like a screen of your game that says loading when you initially start it. I recommend making show start stop buttons because this actually allows you to the player to pause the game. Stretch screen to fit allows for widescreen, which I'd recommend if you want the game to like actually look really like a full game. Um, use custom variable color, I'd also highly recommend, so just click that and change it to whatever you want. This allows you to make variables that look different. Now all this stuff after monitor style cloud variable source, do not mess with this. This is very hard stuff to deal with and you don't really need to change anything with that. And if you're wondering what everything does, you can look here and see what everything each setting does. So now what you want to do is you want to click HTMLify at the bottom, just like this. And obviously it's going to say I didn't select a project file, but you would, and it will simply download to your computer, same as how the other file did. When it downloads, you see the HTML file downloaded. Now if you open this up, you can actually go and play it if you want. So for example, if I click on this, I can actually go into the thing and play it since it runs on my computer. Now this is really good for uploading it to Game Jewel, but what we want to do is upload it to Android. So the next step is going to be actually going into the files of our computer to edit this file quickly. First off, you want to go into your files, you want to right click on the file, that you that's the HTML file, and then you want to rename it to index, all lowercase, I-N-D-E-X. -D then after this, you want to right click it again and click send to. A little drop down menu will appear where you have to click send to compress zip file. After this, it will take just a bit of time to convert it into a press zip file, and after that, that's step two done. Now after you're done doing that, what you want to do is you want to go to this website called AppGeyser. Now once you're on this site, it might want you to create an account so you can just sign in with your Gmail account, that's pretty easy. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the main screen and you want to click create app for free, obviously. So anyway, if so anyway, once you get to this screen, it will be create an app to grow, create an app to learn. Now what you want to do is you want to put create an app to learn so you can um, make a game. After this, you'll be presented with a whole bunch of items like this. You want to scroll down to HTML or web app right here, you want to click that. After clicking that, it will show this screen and you want to choose your index file that you just made. Using index file, you simply just want to click next. Now this is where you put your app name, so I've already put obviously tests of this in Puffy Scratch like Luigi. Let's just put this as Game Jolt mobile test now after this you want to click next again and you want to put an icon now i'd recommend doing custom icon and uploading your own image here you can just resize the image in um microsoft photo editor to make it 512 by 512 so the image has to be that um for now i'm not going to add one but just this way you add an app icon like every single app like minecraft for example has the app icon on it so now you want to simply click next now, after you have all this done here, you want to simply create, you want to simply click create right here. Now, after clicking that, it's going to take a bit because obviously it's loading your app and don't bother spam clicking or anything like that. So after it brings you to this, it's going to build your app simply like this. It will take a little bit of time, but it's going to build your app.
Now after that's done, it's going to download your APK and this could take up from 2 to 5 minutes. So just wait for that to be done. Now after you've done that, you want to go to the game you want to put the mobile version in and click this little manage game icon. Now when you click that, you want to go to packages and you want to hit add package. Now when you add package, you just want to create package names, so probably put mobile at the end of it. And of course this name is already in use for the game, but that won't show it for you. Now you want to make sure it's public and in, and in the description you should put download instructions like this is for Android, etc. Now you want to click add package. You'll see that it shows up at the bottom. You want to hit manage. Now you want to hit new release. After new release, select your version number, just type it in here, and you want to choose file and download. Import your mobile file and it will load up. It might take 2-5 to five minutes again, depending how big the file or the game is you're uploading. On uploading, it will say processing. Now what you simply want to do here is you want to click other. And it will say this is build is not launchable on certain platforms they've been disabled below so obviously it's for Android so you can't select certain ones now you want to select other it was gonna process your build just like this which could take a bit after it's done it's gonna say active and you want to click publish release now obviously I'm not gonna click that but you just want to simply click publish release and you're done so if you like this video please like that's how you put your scratch games on game Joel for Android um anyway have a good day and bye